Hey Wendell teachers, I wanted to take a couple of minutes and um, talk about two things regarding GradeCam. Number one, um, how you go about getting the forms for your students to fill out if you're confused about that. And number two, um, avoiding uh, a common pitfall uh, when you go to create multiple versions of an assignment. So I'm in Ms. Patterson's account right now. She's a graciously allowed me to use this view of hers because my view um, is different than a teacher view. Um, so you can see, you know, she has got all the exams and the things that she's graded on GradeCam. And it tells you, of course, the mean and, you know, the scans that they have. Um, so when you go to create an exam, I'll just create a test exam. I'm going to choose new and go to multiple question assignment. Give it a name and you know say there's 30 questions or whatever and I'll hit save and then I'll put my key in because I'm, I'm on the key frame right here so if I go through I can put the correct answers in um, and so then what you want to make sure you do is you got to give the kid of course their their Scantron, their bubble sheet, right? So many people have uh, added multiple versions of the same assignment, which is great. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that if you have multiple versions, that you add the versions. So I'll click on Add Versions, and I can go through here and then add maybe the key for version two is different than the key for version one you know, etc. So that's the point, okay, that I should go over here to forms and I can print off the forms. Okay? If I print off forms before adding multiple versions, GradeCam has no idea that you're intending to have multiple versions. See up here where it says students will bubble version? That's in the uh, that's the uh, selection that will be added to the paper that allows the student to write in, oh, I have version 1, or I have version 2. If you just go to forms and add versions later, it's going to assume all the tests have one version, and you'll find that they're going to be scored against the same key, which if you have different versions of the test, those keys are probably going to be different. So that's one of the pitfalls I want to help you avoid in this little video here. So then when you go to print these out, what I usually do is you could print out generic forms, whereby the kid is bubbling in their name, right, and their student number. What I like to do, though, is print out individual ones for every class. So your, your classes are already in GradeCam, right, and so you can print off the whole class, and then, so what I like to do here, then, is this is the core one, print pre-filmed forms for all students. That means their name's already on there. So you hand out the, the, the Scantron, the grade, uh, bubble sheet to the individual student. Then I like to put this at like about 80% and then allow multiple forms per page. That allows me to save paper. I click generate. And then it'll change to download PDF. And I'm able to print off the forms for the students. Okay, so again, the most important takeaway from this is if you intend on having multiple versions of a test, add the versions and then go to print. If you do it the other way around, you're going to assume that there's only one version, which will trip you up later when you go to grade them. So um, hopefully that will help some folks avoid that pitfall. Uh, if you have any questions about GradeCam, uh, reach out and I'd be glad to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks, guys.